BBC Radio 2. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your radio talking. Now we want to wish you all a very happy Wednesday morning. This is your wake up call. friends. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to your witness day. Chris Waters says, good morning, Christopher. Oh, good morning, Christopher Back. Uh, could I be in the club, please? I am delivering a Ray Far flugelhorn to Kirby Stephen in Cumbria, all the way from Portsmouth today. Well, there you go. I want to know so much more about that. Ray Far, R-A-Y, F-A-R-R, flugelhorn, all the way from Kirby Stephen. Oh, to Kirby Stephen in Cumbria, from Portsmouth today. Why? To whom? How come? Do you have police outriders? There's much more going on there. That's we a know great that. word, flugelhorn. Uh, it is, and also Ray Far with the double R. It makes you want to go far, far. Oh. Which also get, almost gets you to the beginning of triple tonguing at this time in the morning, doesn't it? OK, we're going to move on from that. We'd like to talk to the flugelhorn um, delivering person. I was going to call you a curry, but if you actually fashion the flugelhorn, if you are Ray Far, then that would be somewhat demeaning. No offence to curries, of course. Well, we're going to have to get him on the phone and find out. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Chris. Hi there. Hi. So you really are you really are delivering this Rayfar flugelhorn? Indeed. Uh, it took me about a week to make, uh, and I'm delivering it to the customer in Kirkby Stephen. Right. Well, why in, in that case? This question. You know what's coming. Why is it called the Rayfar flugelhorn and not a Chris Waters flugelhorn then? Because you're Chris Waters, and I don't know who Rayfar was anyway. Uh, with my name on, no one will buy them. But Ray Farr is the god of flugelhorn playing, <laughs> and everybody looks up to him. Ray tried it and said, wow, this is the best flugelhorn I've ever played. So that's why his name's on it. Wonderful. Can we get him on the show? Absolutely. He'd love to. All right, OK. So um, I play a Ray Farr flugelhorn. I can say without hesitation, it is the loveliest instrument I've ever played. I cannot <laughs> recommend them highly enough. Says Gordon Bell. Oh, good old Gordon! Yes, yes, one of our wonderful customers. Great I chap. Thought you might know him. All right, so <laughs> so these these are so coveted. I mean, the fact that you are you are hand delivering this from Portsmouth all the way up to Cumbria. I mean, that's something. So who's who's uh, who is the fortunate recipient of this? Plays in uh, the local brass band. Mm-hmm. Um, flu- uh, brass bands have a flugelhorn uh, in them, and uh, yeah, it just it's a lovely sound, and uh, it's all about the sound. Even if you play a wrong note. You've got to play a good sound with that. All right, OK. So is he like the Stradivarius of, of flugelhorns? Is that what we're talking about here? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. P- people really are raving about them. Um, I've redesigned them because flugelhorns have tuning problems and I've got over the tuning problem and it's one of the main reasons why people buy them. And do you listen to the show regularly? I mean, you sound like a re- really decent, upstanding member of society. Now, I'm going to cross from you in transit from Portsmouth with your covered, your gorgeous, priceless almost, flugelhorn, on the way to Cumbria, live to Norway. Is, d- does that strike you as at all exciting? Would... Would that cause you to carry on listening to the show, or perhaps hmm, is that a deal breaker for you? For us to that go would to... be an absolutely amazing right. thing to do. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. <laughs> BBC Radio 2.